Hey everyone, Cameron with CBM Reviews here, and we're gonna drop some news. Now this is not all exactly new news, but some of it you may not have heard of, some of it I, I'm almost certain you already know, but it actually makes some changes to other things. And so I'm gonna talk about it real quick, it's not gonna be a really long video or anything like that. First off, the news that you probably already know. It's the biggest news that's coming out of the blockbuster season, and that's that Marvel's Avengers Infinity War moved their release date from May the 4th up to April 27th. I think it's a fine move, although it's messing up my schedule. Now I'm having to pump out my videos sooner so that I'm on schedule, but that's not a big deal. We get to see it beforehand, and I think that they're doing this in order to keep any kind of leaks from coming out. Normally speaking, because of distribution issues or whatever like that, the, the movie gets released in England like a week before. And so us Americans, we have to wait in anticipation to uh, to watch the movie. And now it gets released uh, everywhere uh, at the same time. And I think they're doing that so they can finally release the actual name of the next Avengers movie, which is coming out next summer. Uh, and I think that it's going to actually be a spoiler for Avengers Infinity War. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but I'm not the only person who's responded to this. Uh, the movie that uh, The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's in, called Rampage, originally had an April 20th release date. And because they wanted to give themselves a little bit of a cushion, they moved their, <laughs> they moved their release date up a week. And so now instead of coming out on the 20th, it's coming out on the 13th. So now you get to have some early Rampage action. They're not the only ones that moved. Not that I care to really talk about it, but Amy Schumer's movie, I Feel Pretty, was scheduled to come out on April the 27th, and now they had to compete with the arguably largest movie uh, of the year. They upped their release date from the 27th to the 20th. So Marvel's making all these moves, and we've actually had a lot of release dates change this year. Those three, Foxes, The New Mutants, pushed all the way back to next year. Deadpool moved up. Uh, the Dark Phoenix moved up. And I normally don't see this kind of movement with release dates, but I'm okay with that uh, for the most part. Somebody asked me, well, do you think they're gonna move the Solo movie up to, to be in front of Deadpool? For those of you who don't know, Solo is coming out on the 26th, I think, the 25th to the 26th. It's coming out uh, that weekend of Memorial Day, and originally Deadpool was coming out on June the 1st. They moved their release date up by two weeks, and so now instead of coming after Solo, it's coming before Solo. And somebody was asking me, do you think because of Marvel's move that they're going to move the Solo movie? I don't think so. I think they're going to leave it where it is. There's enough stuff going on with the movie that I don't think they need to cut the amount of time and they need to work on it. That's the news that I wanted to talk about. Uh, if there's anything that I didn't cover, let me know. Uh, hit me a message or put it in the comment section down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe. As always, this is Cameron with CBM Reviews. We'll see you next time.